Hi, David Weck here, and I've got an RMT Club exercise for you today called the Single Arm Swing with a Double Chamber. We use this exercise to really seat the shoulder and give it tremendous stability, strength, and coordination, and to train the non-dominant side to make you better on both sides of the body. This is a very challenging exercise to do right, so I'm gonna break it down, but first, here it is in its full form. I swing it out, I create a double chamber, that I can hear, I can feel, I get that feedback, and then I wanna get the non-dominant side as well. Listen to the club, right there. One more. So it's a very rapid fire double chamber. I'm really learning how to use the lat to seat the shoulder and make the shoulder very, very strong in its stable position here. It'll help me throw better, it'll help me press better, it'll just give me better posture, it's, everything's better, and it's very athletic. So. To break this down, we want to go simple steps first. You just want to swing it out and then catch it. You want to feel it, just gentle catch it first. And now we want to pull it into the catch. So we want to use the, the lat and really seat it first. So you can hear it and you can feel it and you got a brace and you want to use your lat to, to really pull it down. Now the hard part here is the drive up to create that double chamber effect. If you don't keep the, lat, or the shoulder seated with the lat and you rise up, you'll hear the shot roll and it won't chamber. So it'll be more like chamber and then a roll shift as opposed to a chamber and another chamber shift. So what you wanna do is you wanna drive it down and then keep the shoulder seated with the lat and drive it up. It's a very rapid fire. Connection, and you're gonna get that feedback. Same rules apply on the non-dominant side. First, just you're gonna get that nice, easy chamber. Catch, feel it. You're gonna pull it down with the lat. You'll pull it down with the lat, and then progress to a drive and chamber. And then you're gonna put that together and get that feedback right there. Be patient with that second chamber. It's very challenging to do. Rotate back and forth between the dominant side, which will be easier to assimilate, and the non-dominant side, so that you can borrow the intelligence of your smarter side to get it into the non-dominant side, and really work it until you can get that double chamber. Once you do, it's a fantastic exercise to get about 15 reps on each side of the body. You'll feel the shoulders really seated, so it's a great warm up for any kind of throwing or any kind of pressing work as well. So that's our single arm swing with a double chamber on both sides.